The bucket raises steep enough to unload even wet, sticky dirt. It dumps steeper than any other scraper. It's even steeper than the back board of an ejector scraper. The throat opening between the gate and the blade is wide enough that there's no obstructions to prevent the dirt from falling out. The Miskin rollout dump works fast. It usually takes only five seconds to go to the complete dump position. Most of the time your dirt will slide out with only a partial dump. That means you don't have to slow down and wait for the scraper to unload dirt. The push-off ejection type scrapers run a lot slower and when you're in dry dirt there's no chance of speeding them up because they have to because it takes the same amount of cycle time whether you've got sticky dirt or dry dirt. Yeah, another thing I think I like about the Miskin too is that how quickly it unloads. Because you know, time spent, whether it's you know transporting or unloading, doesn't make any difference. Time spent is time spent, and you can turn around when you get to where you want to dump. You can just start turning around right then, because by the time the tractor gets turned around, the scraper is going to be empty. Dump over a very long stretch with the ejector, and it had a big, huge cylinder on it and it took a long time for it to push all the way forward and so you couldn't dump in just one specific small area you had to dump over a long stretch and then move over and dump over another long stretch whereas with the Miskin it dumps quick that you can, you can put, the, put it right where you want it and turn around and get, get going back for the next load right away. You've got 29 inches of space between the front frame and the ground and that gives plenty of room for the dirt uh, to be able to pile up inside the scraper without uh, mashing against the inside and the bottom of the front frame. Let's the dirt come in real easy. Front frame is also high enough off the ground that the operator can see the blade from his driver's seat and be able to tell uh, how far he's off the ground or he's cutting or uh, be able to control the scraper easier that way. There's also enough room under the front frame to install the optional ripper attachment. The ripper has two purposes. The obvious reason is it makes it easier to load up in hard ground. The other reason to use a ripper is on your finishing you can run the ripper down about six inches deep and loosen up the cut areas. It makes the cut areas and the fill areas closer to the same texture and once you put the laser level on it they'll settle more evenly and after the a few rainstorms your field will be uh, closer to level and it won't have uh, so much s settling in the fill areas and have the hard cut areas stay firm. It was real telling out there this winter too. I was telling you we hired this fellow that had 30 years experience sitting on a dozer. And I mean, he was thoroughly impressed. We were watching the Miskin run, because I was bringing dirt to him a lot of times to fill holes in levees and whatnot. And he's been working around scrapers, you know, all his life. I mean, the big scrapers. The Miskins have been making scrapers longer than any other company. Arthur Miskin made his first horse-drawn scraper in 1916. The company's stable and secure, and you can depend on it to be around for parts and service for years to come. I get a lot of comments on it. And I'm as proud of, of that piece of equipment as just about any piece of equipment I own. I mean, it, it's well built. It's taken a lot of gut building levees. You know, that, 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 that's hard on it. I mean, you're up breaking over the top of the levee and, and the, you know, with it fully loaded. And uh, like last winter, you know, in the frost conditions, it's not always riding on all eight tires. You know, and uh, it seems to have taken the gut well. And, you know, it, it's got to be well built to, you know, be bouncing over those tops of those levees and, and dragging it in some of the places we've taken it. One, two, three, four.
one of the original Miskin horse-drawn scrapers. You can still get service parts for it. Pick your worst dirt conditions. The miskin will scoop it up and dump it out. With a big throat opening, high blade clearance, and a steep dump, miskin works even in the wettest, stickiest gumbo. Listen to what people are saying about their Miskin scrapers. Of all the operations I've seen, I don't think I've seen anything that is as disefficient and cost effective for, you know, a reasonably short haul dirt. I don't know what short haul means, probably up to three quarters of a mile or something like that. But I've looked at trucks and excavators and elevating scrapers and push pull scrapers and conventional scrapers. And I've never seen anything that loaded this kind of material this easy. Got rid of it this easy. You know, it appears to me that the width is the, the big factor.